here I have uh, Mr. David. Um, uh, Mr. David, have you seen any wild bananas? I'm trying to catch them. It's for this experiment that I'm working on. Oh, shoot, I've been trying for three days now. I've been camped out with all my equipment. They say they're supposed to be all over these hills, and I, for one, haven't seen them. I, I mean, I put out bait. I, I've even started, like, I, I've heard there's a mating call you can do. It's just like, blah, blah. nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, which, which areas of the town do you think they're usually at? Well, I've been told that, that these woods all over yonder is the best place. And I swear, I was walking in, and another guy was walking out. He's like, oh, yeah, they're all over the place. Nothing. I mean, am, is there something that I'm doing that's wrong? I mean, maybe it's my odor. It's my musk. I do have a very strong musk. The ladies like it. Uh, maybe bananas don't. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not pleased. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. David. Okay, um, and if you have any tips, I would like them. I'm not leaving without a banana. Well, I can say this. They, they really like milk. Milk. All right, well, i going to have to get my pump. Now here with the park. Do we have to come on a rainy day? Hello, I am Miss Baba, and I'm a veterinarian from Vancouver. I am very passionate about research and study on wild animals in different social social places. Oh, watch where you're going, Benny. Watch where you're going. How many times have, I t have we been to this park, Baba? I, I mean, I know what... <laughs> Benny, are you okay? I go home. Let's go home. I want to go home. <laughs> Hi everyone. Today we're at Muskoka Woods and we're trying to catch some bananas. Muskoka bananas. I have some milk here. I'm gonna put it down here. This milk will attract the Muskoka bananas. Come, let's hide and see if they will come. This way, this way. This way, this way, this way, this way. Just let's get a shot of the milk. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Alright, cameraman, cameraman. Okay guys, as you can see, my trap works. Now I'm gonna try to catch these bananas. Okay, ready? Barney, how does this make you feel? One problem is that we can't go to the supermarket or anywhere without Banny breaking down. And this is because he is strictly against the agricultural and crops and just the disrespect towards his kind. So now that he's starting to talk, he's been questioning his existence. And he's been getting more involved in arts and film and so many creative projects. We drive by the drama set of Shazam to talk to the costume designer of Shazam's iconic suit. Some better than others, but he's trying. That's all that matters. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know. There's some uh, safari guy. He's having a whole hell of a thing. I don't know what's going on with him. He's he's looking for some wild bananas, and there's no wild bananas around here. There's just there's just these tame bananas that I keep here on my farm. Uh, that guy is one crazy fella. I I think you should watch out for him. Is that, is that all you wanted to know? Cause I I I see you. I I don't. I'm I'm afraid. For my bananas, they're tame. They they wouldn't hurt anybody. 
So, is that... Are they genetically modified? Well, uh, that's part of my secret. No, they're just grass-fed, right? Just grass-fed. But they are, well, I'm afraid they might get mashed. And that, that would be, or bruised. When they turn brown, they, they don't taste as good. You know what I'm saying? That would be unfortunate. This right? is my livelihood. I don't need that, that safari guy to come around here and screw things up for me. Hey, I, I, I need to feed my children and my wife. Thank you. Thank you. Farmers.